Hey guys, so I have not done a niche research video in a while and I wanted to discuss ways that you can go ahead and make your first sale on KDP by creating a low content journal. Um, and now low content seems to have different meanings, okay? More people are not doing, more people are getting into the low content journals. So in so in 2022, you need to step your game up as far as your research, your cover, your keywords, and then the extra things that you can do here on Amazon. They do now have Amazon A+, but I feel like it's also an extension of Amazon Author Central, which I do have a video on how to create and set up your Author Central account so you can add your books, you can make a better you can create look inside, you can upload videos and things like that to go on your listing for your books. So I'm excited to get into this video today. You know, my channel is flourishing. We are almost at 10K subscribers. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I am in an incognito window today on Amazon. So we're going to do a little bit of research and we're going to see what we can come up with. Now, mind you, when I'm on incognito, none of my extensions show up. So this is all just off the rip research. So one of the ways that I always say how to get into the low content business is kind of starting with things that you know a little bit about, okay? So I have been very open about suffering from depression and anxiety. And now I feel like more than half the world is dealing with depression and anxiety lots of blowback from the pandemic and things with COVID. We are on edge. We are worrying. So much is going on. So there's a lot of people who are, you know, now been diagnosed with depression or anxiety. So for someone like me who chose to take medicine and go to counseling, one of the first things I want to look up to see if there is a depression journal, okay? So we know there's going to be plenty of those, right? So let's try the word depression tracker journal. All right. So we got about 466 results, search results for that keyword. Let me take that extra T out of there. So just so we're clear at the results that we find here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down and take a look at some of these. Now, mind you, this is on all and not just on books, but for this, for this word depression tracker journal, we have a lot of mood, depression and anxiety, um, journal and things like that. So that's me putting in tracker. Okay. So let's try the word log book because that's been a big word nowadays. Okay. So when we use log book, we get 7,000 search results. So I want to add a different word and then go back to tracker. So I'm going to do depression medication tracker journal and see what we come up with. So we have about 576. So I'm going to take off the word journal and let's see depression medication tracker. Okay. So we have about 127 search results. So those are two keywords, actually more than two keywords that we just went through at least four of them that you can use. Okay. That will bring you to this amount of, uh, bring you to this amount of search results and note that there are only a few so far that are actual journals, okay? So you can get in here and they all seem to have made a sale. So you can get in here and get into this niche and possibly make a sale. But make sure you check out these other books to see what type of things they have um, whereas you can make yours better. You can create something even better, a better cover, a better interior, and even a better workflow of how someone will use this depression medication tracker, okay? So um, there's something that I've been doing recently is creating different uh, times where I clean certain things in my house. So I'm just going to type in cleaning um, logbook. Let's see what comes up for cleaning logbook. Okay, so for a cleaning logbook, you get 334 search results, okay? So let's see. We have home pool cleaning logbook. Um, we have room cleaning checklist. So again, some of the keywords that you may need is in the titles of other books. So log book and checklist seem to be something. Tracker, daily cleaning, 
six month supply, habit tracker. So these are different keywords that you can use. Time schedule, that's really good. Okay, so let's try something else. We got cleaning logbook. So I'm gonna try cleaning tracker. Cleaning tracker, let's see. Let me put cleaning tracker journal. Okay, so that's about 7,000 search results, okay? So let's see what it is in just the books. So same about seven. So I think the cleaning logbook might do better than tracker, okay? So cleaning logbook may, just those words may do better than the tracker. But these are just some ideas to let you guys know that um, it's not, it's, it's all about how you put words together. So I can even go in and say monthly cleaning logbook, a thousand search results, okay? Monthly cleaning checklist, let's try a checklist. And it's okay, see, there's always something there. But these could be digital downloads checklist, but that's 4,000. So I'm gonna put checklist tracker. Sometimes you have to add a word. Sometimes you have to take a word away. Sometimes you have to substitute notebook for journal, okay? There are different ways that you can play around with these keywords. So this is 2,000 search results. So this makes me feel like this is a really booming industry. So go in and check out these books and see what you can do to make it different. How can you make this different? Now, I know that K this is just an idea. I know that KDP does not have perforated, perforated pages, but if you could go in and create signs that someone could possibly cut out, add a dotted line on that sheet where someone can cut out that page and give them instructions on how to laminate it and use it as house signs or create a whiteboard with lamination, it would be a step above what everyone else is doing. It's a directional book. You remember those books that you had in school or it, growing up, we would have to cut out stuff on the dotted line and glue it on another page. This is just an example of how you can take this cleaning, this cleaning journal and take it to the next step. I have cleaning signs all around my house. So I may go in and try to take some of those cleaning signs that I have and try this method out to see how well it works. And if I do create it, I'll definitely um, go ahead and <clears throat> if I do create it, I'll definitely go ahead and order it and, you know, create a video for it so that the people who purchase this can see how to use it. That's content that I not only can use on my YouTube channel, but that's content you can use in your Amazon Author Central where people want to see what these videos mean. So um, before this video goes live, I'm definitely going to go ahead and use some of these keywords, uh, create me a listing and go ahead and create that book so I can order a copy. So by the time you guys see this video, I have my copy and I'm probably going to do a review on it and mine is already up, <laughs> up for sale. Again, I know a lot of people are currently hiring VAs, which it makes me sick to my stomach that the VAs are so thirsty, or even the ones who are creating the books, who are so thirsty to copy like word for word that they're, they're missing the fact that you're copying word for word and you're copying someone's website in their um, description, okay? That's how you know that people are not paying attention. So basically you're copying someone's book pixel for pixel and description and everything, but you're leaving their website on your listing. That is grounds for someone to say, hey, Amazon, this person copied my listing word for word. See here, they have my website in their description to get your book removed. So there is a lot of things. And I'm probably gonna delete all of that out I hope you guys enjoyed this just rundown of trying to help you guys make your first sell on KDP and just giving you a different idea of how to do some leash research since I haven't done one of these videos in a while. Everything I used today was pretty much off the top of my head and they had, they, it was similar to things that I'm going through or, or similar to things that I have planned for myself. So start there. 
start by searching, like I said, change words, move words out, look for different synonyms for certain words, just to see what you can populate. Um, I say 500 search results in less is the better, okay? And then make your book, our journal, notebook, whatever you guys want to call it, low content book stand out.